Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. And let's start episode 539 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Kirk. And he writes, Vidas, I have been practicing two hours a day on my full console organ. A couple of questions for my organ only has 25 pedals. So what does one do when running in organ music that is above the range of that pedal board, which runs down to two octaves below middle C, up to middle C on the piano? Also, I have been working out on my hymnal, breaking up my practicing on the hymns down from soprano, alto and tenor and the bass part separately. With the Marcel Dupre book, I am working on one piece at a time and working consistently on one section at a time in piece until I get my coordination and phrasing right before I go to the next phrase to work on. Mm-hmm. So, Osha, do you understand what kind of pedal board does Kirk have? Has from base C to the middle C, like most of the early organs. Yes. Two octaves. Yeah. Two octaves plus one note. Uh, well, sometimes we would have uh, twenty-seven notes, like uh, up to D. Right, which would facilitate a little bit, but for example, in a church where we both worked, um, which is called Holy Cross Church, it does have only Holy Cross, Holy Cross. it does have only pedal board going to treble C. Well, it was sufficient for church music because anyway, you wouldn't play like virtuosic pieces on that particular instrument since we had only one keyboard there. So it was good for him and for some some liturgical pieces. So I guess while having such an organ, you have to select your repertoire accordingly. More early music? Yes, more early music, that's right. Uh, I doubt that Marcel Dupre's um, 79 chorales go above C. Too, too often. Well, because it's also, you know, sort of liturgical music. Plus it's a beginning uh, beginner's book. And, uh, That's right, so it's it's not, you know, for like... Like very advanced organs. Yeah, he might get into higher notes from time to time, but not very often. But then you can play them an octave lower. An octave Same. lower. And the way we do this is not dropping... Just one note, for example, if if there is a, a note treble C in your in your score, right, and then right next to it is D, you have to think strategically, uh, dropping D one octave below. Sometimes would sound uh, unconvincing. True, maybe when you have to play no lower both notes, no C and D, or maybe entire phrase. Yes. Or see how can you 
rearrange the parts and the intervals. For example, if there is an interval when you when you drop downward, if there is an interval of fourth and fifth, it's okay. Right, uh, second, third is also okay. But what about a six? Six is also okay down Yeah, six is okay. I think seven is not okay. I think seven is okay if you go downward, but seven upward is not okay, right? Anyway, I think like if we are talking about functional harmony, you need to avoid the interval of the major seven. Ma major seven. Of the major good. seven. Yes, it's it's uh, really bad, and you need to avoid the augmented intervals. Mm -hmm. Augmented meaning like uh, B flat to C sharp. Yes. C augmented second. Going up. I mean, yes, doing augmented interval. If you would go below from that, you would have a, like diminished seventh, which would be good. From B flat to C sharp. That's right. Diminished seventh. Or uh, augmented fourth is not good. Make it diminished seven, diminished fifth. A diminished uh, fourth is better than augmented fifth. In general, that's a rule you know, mm -hmm. in a functional harmony that you avoid the leaps of augmented intervals. The second part of his question, uh, he writes about those chorales from Marcel Dupré's book. Um, he, he writes that he's working on one piece at a time and working consistently on one section at a time in piece until he gets his coordination and phrasing right before he goes to the next phrase to work on. Can we suggest uh, to memorize, like like uh, Marcel Dupré says? Yes. If he has time, then yes, why not? I think he has to write, uh, find time because he uses Marcel Dupré's book. And Marcel Dupré specifically states that after you can play the piece very slowly uh, with both hands and the pedals. Then you practice each phrase separately and do it from memory. Uh, basically memorize it. But his method of memorization is very curious. You take a phrase of four measures long and then you practice repeatedly the first measure always starting and ending on the downbeat of the next measure, right? And you do like maybe five times while looking at the score and then five times without looking at the score. And then you do the same for the second measure and then for the third measure and then for the fourth measure separately. Sounds boring. Yes, it does. But that's what master recommends. Well, yeah. And then, guess what comes next? Next comes uh, two measure fragments. Measures one and two, two and three, three and four. And then you memorize one, two, three, and two, three, four together. And only then you memorize one, two, three, four together. I'm glad I wasn't Marcel Dupré's student. I would might have just died because of the boringness. So let's see if Kirk can 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 survive that. I guess Marcel Dupré was famous for his discipline and yeah. for his strictness to his students. Yes, <clears throat> and some people don't like that, and that's okay with me because I'm not Marcel Dupré, and he's dead. I know. Remember, once we did the, those tests for fun to to tell us which of you know French uh -huh. organist we are on Facebook. Yes, it was just really funny. I was Marcel Dupré. No, I was Marcel Dupré, and you, you were, were <laughs> and you, you were Cochero. Pierre Cochero. Pierre Cochero, yes. I wonder why. Yes. There was one answer about Charles Turnemir. Who was Charles Turnemir? Our friend Paulus, maybe? No, he was also Marcel Dupré. He was also Marcel Dupré. Mm. Interesting. 
yeah. yeah I guess you can only admire old masters or modern masters up to a certain point never try to be become a master like like Marcel Dupre be yourself better if you if you see your own character trait which is different from Marcel Dupre's develop it further it will become your unique point of of personality and nobody can imitate you this way which is more more I think valuable than imitating masters in today's world because there was already Marcel Dupre there was Pierre Cochereau already but there is only one Oshra and one Vidas and uh, we're still alive and still kicking that's right and there is still one Kirk and he needs to become also the best version of himself thank you guys this was Vidas and Osha please send us more of your questions we love helping you grow and remember when you practice miracles happen This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes. The sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two, three days behind, but I am a slow learner, and I have committed to taking the time to get it right, as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vidas and Osha. Thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and... 10-day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.